So in this video, we will continue with QTP descriptic programming. And in order to start writing into this email ID and password, so this is a web edit type object. And one way to write descriptic programming is to, de is to create a description by setting up the description. So we can do that by writing set and we can name this object. We can name it something as in uh, simply email. There we go. So that set email is equal to description dot create. We put an opening and closing bracket. This is the basic of writing a descriptive programming. This is one way to do it. As I mentioned, later on I'll show you the easiest way to write a descriptive programming for an object. So set email is equal to description dot create. So then we have to provide some properties and values of this specific object. So how do we do that? We can basically say email dot value Now we can say that some value of this email is equal to another value. So this value should be the property. So we have to say email and in the bracket we have to write a property. So let's find out one of these properties from using objects by and clicking on this email box. Now let's use this class, this class name, okay? Let's use this class name so we can say email class name, close the quotations, be sure to close the quotation and the bracket, then dot value. So class name is the property. Now what is the value of this property? The value is web edit. This is not case sensitive, by the way. You can have it like this or like that. Doesn't matter because VB scripting is not really case sensitive. So now we have one property and one value. Let's take another one, another property and another value. We took this property, now let's take another one. Let's take this HTML ID, which is email. Let's copy this line and paste it. This time the property is HTML ID and the value of the property is email. All right, now let's write into this box this web edit box for email ID. Let's type in browser and title colon equal dot star. Close the quotation and close the bracket. Now that web edit box is within a page and the page is within the browser, right? So we have to say browser dot page dot web edit okay this is how we have to write for this web edit box first we have to have the browser then the page then the web edit now which browser we have to specify which browser that's why I'm writing title colon equal dot star and close the bracket title colon equal dot star means basically navigate to the browser. So now we have to specify the browser that is open. Specify any open browser. 
So in this case, I'm assuming that I have only one open browser. So, okay, title colon equal dot star means any open browser dot page and I have to do the same for the page dot star and again that is for any open page so any open browser and within any open page of that browser dot web edit in the quotation we have to say which web edit box we are talking about here in this case we are talking about this web edit box so we set this description as email so we have written a description for our web edit HTML ID as email we have set this to a variable and an object which is email. We can basically say without any quotation email and close the bracket. So what happened here? We basically said one second dot page. I have a little mistake here. There we go. Browser dot page dot web edit so what I'm what I am saying is within any open browser and within any open page of that browser and that has a web edit which web edit the email web edit and where did I get this email web edit from from here I said that this email object is equal to class name web edit and the HTML ID is email. I am specifying to this email box right here. Not this, not this, or even this, but this one right here. Email, right? So when I write web edit and the name of the web edit here, email, in descriptive programming, email, I do not put any quotation. I have a quotation here because I am saying any open browser title colon dot equal dot star any open browser with any open page and in any title I need a quotation in that case I am saying I am saying browser page web edit email and I am using two different properties and values so that we go right to this web edit box and in order to write I need to dot set right so this is so web edit dot set right this is something we did previously by recording browser page web edit dot set dot set means we are setting a value in this box so let's say email one at yahoo Dot com. Okay, so we have email dot set to email one at yahoo.com. Let's try to run this if this works and fine. Otherwise, we have to add more properties and more values. That's why we have these properties and values. So if two properties are not unique enough, if they are not unique enough for QTP to identify this email box then we need to add more properties and values. Again, this is one way of writing descriptic programming, but again, this is not the best way. I'll show you the easiest way later on. So let's try to run this. Let me cancel and close this browser. I have to have only one browser open, right? It is assuming that it will write to a single open browser. If I have multiple browsers open, it will get confused about where to write. So let's try to run this. Goes to facebook.com. It did write email one at yahoo.com. You see that? Okay. So it navigated to facebook.com. 
It has written email1 at yahoo.com. Although this is not the best way to work with descriptic, because if you have a lot of objects to deal with, then you have to repeat this set email description dot create over and over and over. So in the next video, let's continue on that and try to write descriptic programming in a shorter and faster way. Let's perform this Facebook login with this invalid login with our own scripts and codes. So we've written our very own first descriptive programming from scratch. We have written our first script without record and run descriptive programming, but this is VB, so you have just started writing descriptive programming, and let's continue to do so. Thank you.